I'm Susan Beckham Zarenda. This is the girl from the Red Rose Motel. It is inspired by my teaching experience and I had the privilege of teaching very, very different groups of students. And so I wanted to see what would happen if I put two students from these vastly different backgrounds and circumstances together. What is it about the dynamic between teachers and students and that makes for such good stories? You know, teachers trying to key into who students are, how to reach them, and then also students. A teacher-student relationship is a unique relationship. There's a little bit of friend in it, a little bit of friend in it. We, we hope there's a, a, a lot of respect in it. But that, that student is, is learning from that teacher, but the teacher is also learning some from the student. This is very much a classic forbidden love story. It is. What drew you to exploring that? Another interviewer asked me, uh, he said, you've got two forbidden love stories in The Girl from the Red Rose Motel. You've got a forbidden love story in my debut novel, Bells for Eli. What draws you to forbidden love stories? I right. thought, oh my gosh, what kind of warped person am I? <laughs> I just think they're the best stories, right? I guess. Where you're, where you're two people who are very much in love have all the odds stacked against them. And I just wonder if it's yeah. if that's just what makes the best stories. Well, maybe, but I also I guess I'm perhaps I'm a romantic at heart because I I really do believe I think I believe that love is a stronger emotion than hate, and I believe that that love has an overwhelming capacity to help people get beyond seemingly insurmountable obstacles. So you know you're going to have to write the sequel now. <laughs> Everybody's got to know what happened. A lot of people have asked me about it. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to wrap my head around that. Susan, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, Jeremy. And thank you for watching A Word on Words. I'm Jeremy Finley. Remember, keep reading. I just didn't think Zorinda sounded Southern, and I've lived my entire life in South Carolina. I'm Southern through and through, <laughs> and I thought I better put that Beckham on there. <laughs>